this is an Atari 2600 Light Sixer model with a color problem. Here's the game's Sea Quest. The water is supposed to be blue, but it isn't. The problem comes from two bad capacitors, C103 and C104. Those are the two rectangular green film capacitors near the power switch and voltage regulator that look like chiclets. The same problem can happen to a four switch unit due to a similar capacitor, C241 or 242, going bad. Symptoms may include muted or missing color, snow-like RF noise, snow appearing over a period of time, and or color eventually dropping out. If you service an Atari 2600 to correct this problem, you could also take the opportunity to clean your switches, replace the electrolytic capacitors, and perhaps replace the voltage regulator. In this video, I'm only going to replace these green chiclet capacitors to restore color. Watch what happens when I pinch one of them. Whoa, the color suddenly comes back. It isn't quite accurate, but there it is. I get the same result pinching the other one. I can even try to pinch both at once, and that's actually pretty close. Let's replace them and see if we can improve the color. For the replacements, I'm using two of these .22 microfarad caps that I got from console5.com. I'll provide a link for them in the video description. Four switch units call for a .1 microfarad cap, but you could probably just stick with .22 if you wish. I keep them both on hand and generally stick to the appropriate numbers for each. I'll remove both of the bad ones. The replacements drop right in. For this top one, you'll notice that there is a second hole in the PCB that lets you drop in a replacement with a shorter distance between the leads. If you want, you can remove the solder from this hole to keep the drop in neat. Or you could just pull the leads apart and push it in, which is what I did. Just some quick basics. For the leads I pulled apart, I'll bend them to hold the capacitor in place while I solder. then clip them when I'm done. For the components such as the second cap that is easily dropped in right next to the voltage regulator here, I'll use a nicer method. I like to do a quick solder joint to hold it in place and then reheat it while pushing the component closer to the board with my other hand. You don't have to do this, but it keeps things nice, neat, and short. A bit of a contrast from the first cap I showed, but both should work just fine. Clean up the flux and we are ready to test. When wiring a six switcher back up, you have to reconnect that ribbon cable in addition to the RF cable and power. Be careful with it, but make sure the pins have good connection to your switchboard or it's not gonna work. I had to reseat the pins here a second time before powering up the test. Blue water, Sequest looks much better now. Minus the old RF cable and noisy electronics on my workbench, of course. I hope you find this quick and easy Atari 2600 repair to restore color helpful. Thanks for watching.